That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Dog! You're kidding me! Mm. Hey guys, Patrick Walters here, Bassmaster Elite Series Champion here on Lake Murray. Had a great tournament. Uh, we went wire to wire this week and I truly love Lake Murray. It's a great fishery. Um, grew up fishing here. I went to college here at the University of South Carolina, so I have a lot of time on the water, and that really gets me familiar with, you know, blueback herring. Um, kind of that's what majority of these fish eat here. They're really keyed in on them, and you kind of have a two prong approach. You can put, put three prongs in there. Sometimes you gotta drag a little bit, but mainly this week I caught them on two types of approaches. I was sewing a top water. This is the new Rapala Jawler. And also this is the bread and butter, the Zoom Super Fluke. Um, everybody knows about it. Everybody was probably throwing it. There is not a boat that fished here this week that did not have a Zoom Super Fluke in their boat. If they did, they probably didn't get paid. Um, sorry to them. But uh, my main approach this week was I would run and gun points, um, places that had a lot of bait. Um, that's what I was looking for. Um, and once I found the bait, then I was looking for points with kind of groups of fish. Um, the lake really got beat up this week. There was a lot of pressure. We'd come in off a lot of tournaments. There was a couple big bass tournaments, stuff like that. Um, we're later in the year. It's May. Um, the herring spawn had kind of wrapped up a little bit. It's still going on, but the fish were kind of moving around. So my goal was to find larger schools of fish. That way I could kind of trick them a little bit. I could kind of coerce one into biting because if you fish those spots, that only had like two or three fish on them, they, they had seen too many baits. They would not bite, you could not catch them. And so my goal was to find large groups of fish and really kind of break those fish and those points down. And that's how I would catch them. I'd start with top water and then I'd switch to a fluke. And if I couldn't get them to bite that, or if I caught a couple say on the top water in the fluke and the bite kind of slowed down, I would then switch to a Carolina rig. Um, I was on a Zoom mid-sized brush hog um, on that. Really, it doesn't matter what you throw on a Carolina rig. I think they bite everything. You could honestly put a flip-flop on there. I think it just has to deal with you throwing it. So, um, and that's when they weren't schooling or the fish weren't active. I would then kind of drag the rig through there and catch one. And I weighed one for the first three days on it, one of my good ones each day. Um, so the main thing about fishing herring spawn is really just kind of find the bait and find, once you find the bait, find the areas that have the fish on that bait. Um, and a lot of times too, it really depends on bait size. So really just kind of cover a lot of water. The, the herring are moving, the bass are moving, you better be moving too.